Hey guys, it's Katie Dead here, and today I'm going to be demoing slash reviewing for you these four packs of play color paints. Now, these are the coolest things. I've kind of tested them a little bit, and I think they're awesome. And I'll show you in a second why I think they're awesome. But let's go over the kinds I have first, and then we'll get to why they're awesome. So first we've got fluorescent colors. There are six here. And according to Dick Blick, these only come in sets of six. So there are only sets of six of this, so there's only these colors that I will show you. Now, these do not have color names, at least not as far as I'm aware of. So we've just got a fluorescent green, fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange, fluorescent purple, fluorescent blue, and fluorescent yellow. And saying fluorescent that many times is very tongue twisting. <laughs> so, anyway, these are the colors we have. So let's look at it. So like I said, this is paint. So here is what it looks like, and it's literally like a glue stick, but paint. So you open it up, and it looks like this, and you can just kind of twist the cap, and there's your paint right there. It's very handy, and I think that is the most awesome thing. It definitely saves messes, and you know, you don't have to squeeze out paint. It's all right here. So that is really awesome. So that was the thing I thought was the most awesome thing. I have never heard of these before, so I'm really excited about them. All right, so the next ones are the Play Color 1 Metallic. And according to Dick Blick, these come in sets of 2, 6, and 72. So they come in small set, medium set, and humongous set. So and here's what these look like. Uh, paper, sorry. Here's what these look like. They have gold, silver, rose, green, blue, and purple, and they're all shiny. I'll show you swatches in a second. Um, I want to get all these open first before I show you guys swatches, but there are these. Next are the Play Color 1 Textile. So basically, you can use these on fabric, so they're like fabric paints. And if you use an iron over them after they're dry, you can wash them, so that's really awesome. So, according to Dick Blick, these come in sets of 6 or 12, so they come in small or medium. Alright, so here are the colors of these. They have yellow, green, red, blue, purple, and black. So these are all the colors that they have for fabric paint. Well, the, in the 6 set anyway. They also have a 12 set, like I said earlier. And last but not least, we have the Play Color Kids, and I think these are just their standard brand, but they're called Kids. Um, so let's open it up and see what colors are inside. Alright, so we have yellow, red, green, blue, brown, and black for just the standard kind. And according to Dick Blick, these come in sets of 6, 12, and 144. So that's a large set. Now, I reached out to Jack Richardson, and they sent us these for free to review. So I am not being paid or sponsored to make this video. And any links that are, you know, you want to check them out, you want to buy them, you want to check out Jack Richardson, I will have in the description below. So you can do that. Alright, now I'm going to show you the swatches. So here are the swatches. As you can see, there are the fluo, which are the fluorescents, um, all these. So there's green, purple, blue, orange, yellow, and pink. And the metallics up here, and the gold, silver, rose, green, blue, and purple. Then the textile, which is yellow, green, red, blue, purple, and black. And the standard, or kids, is yellow, red, green, blue, brown, and black. In all honesty, I really think that the textile ones have the most vibrant of colors, but the kids in... The textile are pretty the same, like, as far as vibrancy goes. So, yeah. And then, obviously, the fluorescents, they are a little bit more bright. And, actually, you can use those as a highlighter as well. And I will show you that, actually. So, basically, you can take one of these, and I'll take blue. And you should be able to highlight right over it. Yeah. And you can see underneath it. So, it's not... It's transparent, basically. Which I think is really cool. So instead of going out and buying a highlighter, you can buy these and they're not going to go anywhere. So, Alright, so according to the back of the boxes on every one of them except for the textile, they are used for drawing and painting in a fun, easy, and clean way. For painting on paper, cardboard, wood, etc. Instant application with no need for water. It saves time. It's very practical and clean. It has a silky finish. Protective glaze is not necessary. High covering power. Quick drying, doesn't wrinkle paper, solvent free, easy to use, not suitable for children under 36 months since it contains small parts. So basically what you do is what I showed you earlier, you uncap and turn the base of it, paint and color with it as you, you want, and then turn the base back down and cap it. And there you go, you've got yourself a glue stick paint, but it's paint and not glue. 
So now with the text tool, this is the instructions on how to use it. Put a piece of cardboard between the area of fabric to be decorated, keeping it taut, so keeping it really tight, and crease free. Paint and decorate fabric to your style. Once dry, place a sheet of paper on each face of the pattern and iron for about 3-4 to four minutes until it sets. Once set, it can be machine washed at up to 60 Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, warning, it does contain parts likely to be swallowed and it is solvent free. But I do think it's cool that it doesn't wrinkle your paper. Um, I did use a thicker piece of Bristol for this just because I had it on hand. Um, actually, we can test a small piece of paper. Hold on. Alright, so I have a thinner piece of just general uh, lined paper. And I'm just going to kind of write on it. Hold it like I normally would. And just kind of write. And it doesn't... I like how creamy it is. It's really creamy. It just, it just glides. And you don't have to press very hard. And it's really fun to use. And like it says, it does not wrinkle your paper because it sticks to the paper and it's not pulling at it. So it's not going to be wrinkling your paper. Now I haven't tried this, but I think I'm going to. And I should probably try with yellow first so I don't ruin my yellow. But I'm going to see how well these mix. So let's put some yellow down. Then it'll scribble on with some red. Maybe mix it a little bit, maybe. Maybe that wasn't the best paper to mix on. Kinda looks just like ketchup and mustard. Okay, so from what I can tell, these don't really mix very well. So, yeah, I wouldn't try that. Don't mix them. That's bad. Don't do that. So basically what you get in stick form is what you get on paper. Um, like I said, I wouldn't try mixing it unless you're... Yeah, I wouldn't try mixing it. The one thing I think is really awesome about these is the fact that they're so easy cleanup. Unless you're using your fingers with them, there's no mess. I mean, it's as simple as twist, paint a little bit, and recap, and then you're done. I mean, there's no mess involved unless you just have a kid that wants to eat it or something which I think they're non-toxic. <laughs> I actually have no idea if they're non-toxic, so I would not let your kids you eat these. That's bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to an illustration now, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more, so voiceover, about my experience with them and just how they work other than what I've already stated. So let's hop to it and I'll see you there. All right, so you know how I always like to give you guys a really honest review and that is exactly what I'm going to do here. Now, I wouldn't recommend this product for anybody that is either not looking for to do like poster art or for somebody that's not buying it for their kid. I mean, I would not look to this for something like professional grade because I don't really know the light fastness of this, number one. And number two, I don't think it's precise enough to be used in a piece. Unless you're trying to challenge yourself, then I say go for it. But in all honesty, I don't think it would be something that a professional or even a serious hobbyist like myself would be interested in. Like, I like having them kind of for poster art and maybe for any kids that come around but I think that's about it you know what I mean other than that though I really I mean just for like stress for a leaf maybe I don't know but it didn't crack when it dried so that was always a plus I was really looking for that because some things like that it does crack when they dry it does kind of seem a little chunky and streaky um but maybe it's just because of the type of paint it is. I don't know. Oh, also, I did have a problem with the green metallic. Anytime I screwed the little bottom screw thing, I couldn't get it to go up or down. So basically, as soon as that one's flat, I'm not going to be able to use it anymore unless I fix it somehow, which I'll probably look into fixing because I do think these are pretty cool. But, you know, for kids, I think, is probably the most practical use uh, I know I keep saying that, but I just want to be honest with you guys. I want you guys to know that I'm not going to tell you that this is an amazing product that you should go out and buy right now because you should use it in all of your art because I don't really think that's the most practical use of it. So I really hope you guys liked this review. If you did, please hit this thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget you can follow me on DeviantArt, Pagey World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little artist family. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!